Hello and welcome to automation. Today I'm going to talk about Selenium WebDriver. This being our first tutorial, I'm going to talk about installation of Selenium WebDriver. Okay, you all guys should note that Selenium is something which you all cannot install. It is something which you need to configure. To configure Selenium, you will need to follow three steps. Step number one, you need to get Java installed on your system. If you have Java installed, it's good. If you don't have, I'll show it to you how. So JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Okay, next step is to use an editor. An editor is something in which we will write our Java code. In our series, we'll be using Eclipse as our editor. You all are free to choose any editor in which you all are comfortable. I have no problem. The third step is to download our Selenium files and make a Java project and integrate these files into our project. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our three step process. So first step is to find out if you have Java installed. So go to run, go to command prompt, cmd, once you're in command prompt, type in Java. Okay, now as you see, I have got some kind of output here. If you don't get an output, it means Java is not installed on your system. If you have an output, fine, you all are good to go ahead. So I'll go ahead and close this. For those who do not uh, have Java installed, type in JDK. Go to the Oracle website. Click on Java SE download. Okay, in that you have to agree to the license agreement. Choose your operating system. For me, it is Windows 64 and go ahead and download. I have already downloaded this, so I will be skipping this step. Okay, the next process is, let's go back, is you need to download Eclipse. So type in Eclipse. Go to the Eclipse website. Once you're in the website, you can just go ahead and find a download button right here. Uh, you can download packages or just download the installer. I'll choose packages. In packages, uh, you will find uh, Eclipse IDE for Java end-to-end -end developers. I usually choose this. So for me, it is a 64-bit Windows system, so I'll choose this. You all can choose your operating system and download your Eclipse accordingly. Okay, so once you are done with these two, the next step is to download Selenium files. So come back to Google. In Google, type in Selenium. You will see the website seleniumhq.org. In this website, go to the Downloads tab. In this tab, you will see Selenium Client and WebDriver language bindings. In that, you choose the language of your choice. For us, it will be Java and go ahead and download it. I have downloaded this as well. So once you are downloaded all of these three files, you will have files like this. First step, go ahead and install Java Development Kit. Once you are done with that, go ahead and extract Eclipse. So right click and extract here. This will take a moment. Uh, remember, you will have to install Java before you uh, extract Eclipse and run it or else Eclipse will not run. So Eclipse is uh, extracted. You don't need to install it. You can directly run. OK, 
okay by the time Eclipse is opening up I'll just go ahead and okay all of our uh, projects will be doing it in the selenium folder so let me just go ahead and create a project file here uh, sorry a project folder here so projects so my workspace will be under projects let me go ahead and copy this URL okay that's done so D selenium projects will be our project folder all of our tutorials will go under this folder okay Eclipse has started you can go ahead and close your welcome tab you can just right click on your okay the left side is your project explorer just right click new new project you can choose a java project if this option is not available here you can go into java and choose a java project uh, give it a name of your choice for us it will be selenium java se 1.8 this is the one which we have downloaded click finish okay so our project is ready now this is a simple java project the next step is to integrate our project with the selenium files that we have downloaded so how do we do that so let's go back to our folder you can see uh, selenium java 3.4 right here let me go ahead and extract this these are our files here so remember the path d selenium selenium and dash java dash 3.4.0 come to our project right click anywhere on our project it doesn't matter where then you go to build path and inside build path you go to configure build path in that you go to libraries under libraries you'll see add jars uh, let's go and click add external jars once you're in it you navigate to our folder which is d selenium selenium java 3.4 okay choose our meet uh, I mean client file open that then add all the files under library control a and open so these are all our files click ok yeah so under reference file you have see you can see all our files are right now being imported so once this is done go ahead and uh, create a project for those who do not know how to work with Eclipse um, just go ahead and right click on your project go to new new package give a package name let me give it as tutorials okay. under tutorials right click so you right click on tutorials click on new a new class in a new class let's give it a name let's give it a test okay so our class name is test okay and click this button public static void main this will just go ahead and create a main function for you if you don't do this you can go ahead and create one yourself click on finish okay now once you are in this a simple test to make sure that everything is working fine just type in web driver driver now once you move your mouse over web driver you will see import web driver from org open qa dot selenium okay this means all I import has been successful so these are the steps in order to configure selenium 
now once you configured selenium we'll also talk about our first selenium test script and we'll keep going forward we'll learn all the things under selenium web driver uh, the following tutorials will be in my next video if you have any comments regarding installation kindly comment below i'll be happy to help you thank you